Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. Today I would be working on powerful and mighty Tanberg 3002A preamp. Uh, this one is in perfect shape. Uh, I'm already mentioned that all ports are based on uh, multi-position switches, including the volume port. So it just clicks step by step. I already see that there are some problems when we switch in, it's distorting sometimes, right channel doesn't show up uh, in some positions. Yeah, see, distortion, oops, oops. And it can do output up to 2.8 volts, which is really, really big. So usually up to one volt is pretty enough. So let me show you. So one volt will be like 70% uh, position right here to two o'clock. It's one volt and usually it's enough like to gain full power out of power amplifier. But we have lots of spare here. That's good. And I put one volt on the input and set on the tape one position and it works. Uh, so from one volt, we can get up to 2.8 volts. So if you have uh, like lower water sources, like a regular deck, which works approximately the half volt, so it still will give like more than one volt on the maximum volume. All right, so what I've been requested to do, I've been requested to recap this guy, clean up all switches, make sure that it works perfectly. All right, so next step would be open this preamp. I would be going through the capacitors, see what values I need to order, see like how to get out to switchers and disassemble cleaning them up. So this would be an interesting project. Stay tuned, see you soon. And here, guys, I look inside this preamp. So everything looks to be modular. The back panel sits on these large connectors. The only soldered part is the power supply. High voltage. All right. And the ground wire here. And I need to desolder it. And then we can remove this power supply module. And those boards looks to be should be easily separatable. This is a bus. Oh, it's soldered it or not? So I need to check. Uh, probably I need to find a service manual because the one which been supplied with this guy is not from this model. All right. I see these two guys. Uh, so I'll do it right here on top. Similar large capacitors here. What we interested? We interested in this electrolytic cups and these big guys for power supply here, here, couple guys here, and I would need to reverse and open and see what we can do on the other parts. And here our volume rocker. You hear how it works. So I will use the oxide because it looks like this one is not disassemblable. We'll see. Need to get closer look. And I need to remove front panel and see how everything's connected right there. This one. So oh you see? Those are connectors. And just look like that. Wow. And I believe this board will go to go out to it. Yeah. <laughs> German quality. And after all those years, they are not oxidized like uh, very good kind of silver. All connectors are clean. And really good bus here all right and see there is a rings we should see it 
on the other connectors. We have it right here, another one. So they adjust the uh, height, how low it will go. Uh, here is the last one. All right. Pretty interesting design, very, very, very modular. All right, so I believe this can be pulled out too. All right, let me continue disassembly. I believe I would be able to quickly separate all boards and let's see how it will look. See soon. All right, everything looks to be pretty modular. Uh, however, I was not able to unscrew <laughs> the screws from the top panel. They are so hard in it that even like choosing different screwdrivers, uh, I was not able to untie them. They are just getting like thread is getting thrown. So what I mentioned, that's a regular pots, but they have this fancy position balls. You see a mechanism which will be clicking. Same as here, just different mechanism, which makes you feel the premium, right? Uh, this one is position port switch, so that's it's really that one is the switch. Here we have the same and same here. So I will be deoxidizing them as much as I can. Hope they will perform normally. All right, how to fold these capacitors? I have just these two, which I need to order. Everything else I have for these boards. So let me work on them and see you there. And front panel, it disconnects like that, so no problem at all. All right, see you soon. All right, guys, I completed these two boards. Actually, I found that I have 6.8 microfarad because I was like buying them for Nakamichi decks before. The only thing is that you cannot get, get these cups in fine cold series anymore. All right, so that's how many these are. And I used uh, deoxid to clean up all the pots. Hope everything will work now smoothly. And moving to these two boards to complete the work. See you soon. All right, guys, here I recapped the power supply board, uh, except these two big guys. So I will talk to owner if he likes to replace them because it will extend timeline. But they still should be good. No any sign of them going bad. All right, so the last one board left here to work on. So hope to complete soon see you all right guys i recapped the small cups and the big one is 10,000 microfarad i had to order and same for these two guys for 80 volts i have to order as well so so far i will assemble everything i could just uh, leave room to be able to install these cups and close it for now so we'll continue in a week or so Wait for the part two. Bye-bye. Okay, guys, I have assembled it. So we still need two capacitors for the power and four capacitors here for the power on the amplifiers. As soon as they arrived, I will install them and close it. And it should be done. Okay, as you may see, we have everything assembled and that's the amount of capacitors amount of capacitors I replaced so you may check yourself all right so stay tuned and we will measure uh, how this amplifier performs see you